Hi, my name is Matt and I'm part of the Lead Tools support team here at Lead Technologies and today I'm going to show you a tutorial that showcases a new feature and that is called the Xamarin Camera Control and this just uh, was added to the Lead Tools version 20 SDK with our recent update. First thing we're going to do is we're going to open up Visual Studio, go to File, New, and Project. And we're going to do mobile app Xamarin.Forms and here you can name it whatever you'd like. I'm just going to name it Xamarin Camera Control. In the next window, we're going to uncheck UWP and Shared Project. And once your project loads, you're going to want to go to the NuGet Package Manager and we're going to add the necessary NuGet for the Xamarin Camera Control. And to do that, you go to Tools, NuGet Package Manager, and Manage NuGet Packages for Solution. Okay, once you get to the NuGet Package Manager, you're going to go to Browse, and we're going to look for the leadtools.camera.xamarin NuGet. And we're going to check Project and Install. And the first thing that we're going to do after the downloading of the NuGet, we're going to go to main page.xaml, and we're going to add this namespace right here. And this is just the Xamarin Camera Control namespace that we're adding to the XAML. All right, and then next thing we'll do, we're gonna take out all this uh, default information that's in the stack layout, and we're gonna add the Xamarin camera control, basically just the camera view on your device. And that is going to be done with lead tools colon camera view. And you wanna give the camera view a name, it's gonna be lead camera, and that's just so that you can reference the camera in the main page.xaml.cs, your main project. And then also we're going to do camera options and that's just we're going to set it to rear that's just to uh, let the project know which camera we're using on the device we're using the front to the rear so we pick rear and then we're just going to fill the page with that we're going to do horizontal option and vertical options and we're going to set those both to fill and expand all right so next thing that we'll do we're going to go to our app delegate.cs we're going to add this assembly. And this is just the lead tools dot camera dot Xamarin assembly. And then you'll go back to your project and then we're going to open up main page dot XAML dot CS and we're going to add these using statements that we'll need. And it's just going to be using lead tools and then using lead tools dot camera dot Xamarin. All right. And the next thing that you have to do is just add these assembly references right here. And the first one is going to be if you're using iOS, you add lead tools dot converters dot assembly, and then we'll add lead tools dot core dot SVG, and then also add the Xamarin camera assembly use, and then uh, the platform dot runtime platform and that's just so that we set that to the device runtime platform all right so right now you have a project that is going to tap into your cameras or your device's camera and really the only thing that you'll see on your device is just the application using your camera what you need to do first though before you deploy is you want to go to debug and go to the properties and go to Android Manifest, and then you're gonna go down to Require Permissions, and you want to check Camera. And that allows the application to use your device's camera, and then also what you wanna do is you wanna go onto your device settings, and you want to allow that application to use your device's camera as well. So you gotta um, give it permission in Visual Studio, and also on your device. And at this point, you are ready to tap into your device's camera. And in the next video, we will show you how to set the lead tools license.